Last year, I received an email from Charlie, a classmate of mine in college, inviting me to a big party on a small island a hundred miles from the closest beach. We hadn't met for years and had never been in good terms, so I figured it was another one of his wicked schemes to humiliate me, like he always did in front of his group of pompous brats, who seemed to be proud and satisfied mooching money off their parents. What he didn't know was I had been making decent amounts of profit over the years from designing software, and I was about to give him a taste of his own medicine. I called a dealer and bought the flashiest sailboat and hired an instructor to teach me how to use it. He gave me a two-week crash course to learn the basics. At the day of the party, I untied my boat from the dock and set sail toward the island. I couldn't wipe the grin off my face while I was imagining what Charlie and my other classmates' reaction will be when they see me on board my new sporty sailor like Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Halfway to my destination, dark clouds began to gather, and I knew I was in trouble. Because of my excitement, it didn't occur to me to check the weather report. It didn't take long before violent gusts began pounding on my boat. I hurriedly tried to take down the mainsail to keep my ship from capsizing, but I didn't do it fast enough. Blustering winds swept ceaselessly until the mast cracked. I made one final effort to keep it from falling down by binding a rope around it and tying it to the hull. However, my effort was futile. The massive log broke and came crashing down toward me until it hit my head. I lost consciousness and woke up on a beach beside the wreckage of my boat. When I looked around, I was surrounded by my classmates in college asking me if I was okay. My plan indeed failed, but I am lucky to be alive.